We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Paul Garnett who is Director of Technology Policy for the Technology Policy Group for Microsoft. Paul, thanks very much for yeah, being in the studio today. Yeah, thanks a lot for, for, uh, for having me. It's great. great. Now, we're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference, a very important conference once every, every four years. Yeah. The overriding theme this year is broadband for sustainable development. I know that for Microsoft, broadband is, is very much a, a key issue, and uh, perhaps you'd like to talk to us about your involvement in that. Yeah, well, I mean, from, from Microsoft, it's a critical issue. Um, as a company, we've, we've gone from selling software in boxes to selling software in the cloud. And so Microsoft very much now is a, we like to call ourselves a devices and services company now. So all of the kinds of experiences that we wanted to, to deliver to customers involve, you know, a really smart, highly capable, cool device, whether it's a handheld or a tablet or a, a PC, um, and, and, and cloud-based services, things like Office 365 and other kinds of applications and services content. The thing that's... The thing that's often missing in the middle that connects those two things is connectivity, especially in emerging markets. And so we're very focused on, on, on looking at ideas around how, how, we, how are we going to get access more ubiquitous, more affordable for, for the world's population. And in terms of challenges, I mean, there are quite a few challenges globally, both economically, but also in terms of geographically as well. There are lots of uh, countries that have massive rural areas that uh, have real problems with regards to connectivity. How do you propose that those challenges are overcome? Yeah, so if you look at, um, you look at a country like the US, you've got about 88% of the population living on 8% of the geography. So it's a very urban uh, population. Uh, of course, there's big rural areas in America, like, just like other countries, but the population is pretty, is pretty uh, dense, right? But if you look in a country like Kenya, uh, for example, or even India, let's, say in, let's look at India, right? A, a, pop, a big population, big country, but with most of the population still living in rural areas. So when we look at the differences, we have to come up with different ways of, of delivering access. Um, other challenges that we see in emerging markets are around power and the availability of power. So unlike in, in the U.S. or in Europe where you already have a power grid that essentially covers people who live in rural areas and so you don't really have to worry about that too much when you're deploying a network, in a place like Kenya or Tanzania or India, um, issues around electrification are, 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 uh, are still you know, a, big, a big obstacle. So if you're going to deliver broadband access or internet access to those populations, you've got to deal with things like power as well as, as, well as getting the broadband infrastructure out there. And spectrum, of course, is another issue which we can talk about. Yeah, so the, the good news is um, in, uh, in emerging markets, we've seen some great investments uh, in the last decade, and, and they're all continuing around um, you know, things like uh, fiber, fiber uh, long-haul networks, um, getting the basic infrastructure in place to deliver uh, fairly high capacity access to, to places where you have population. Um, and, and then you see like a place like Africa where you see a lot of undersea cable now landing in a lot of places in, in Africa. So the question, the question really is, the like, challenge is around middle mile and last mile. How do we get from those backbone networks to uh, the places where people are? And of course wireless is, has proven itself already to be, be a miracle, as everyone talks about the mobile miracle. Um, so, are, you know, can we take these same types, types of technologies or, and maybe even some new innovations to try to extend broadband access to, uh, to, the, to all the people in emerging markets who today don't have it? And what outcomes do you hope will come from this conference? Um, well, I think I, I, what we're seeing is a, is a great dialogue that's happening here and um, a, lot of, a lot of good um, thinking around how do we come up with new ways of enabling access. And so, just to give an example, um, one area that we're particularly focused on is around new and, new and innovative ways of using spectrum to deliver access. And one, one area that we're looking at, for example, is TV white spaces, where you're looking at unused frequencies in the UHF and VHF bands. And there's a lot of conversations happening around these new innovative models, and there have been some study questions and resolutions proposed, and, um, and I, we think it's very likely that there'd be something out of this that, that puts us in a position globally to be looking at these issues as, as, as other ways of, of addressing these big challenges that we're facing. Paul Garnett, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you, Max. And thank you for watching too.